Hey everybody in YouTube land, my eyeshadow. This is Nita May coming to you, aka Nick. I am back. I have been on my little self of vacation. My husband, yeah, I gotta put my little knee up. My husband took me over to Blakely Historical Park over here in Alabama. And he stayed a couple nights and then he had to come back and um, he had to go to work. So he left me. No, I'm not scared to stay by myself. Mm -mm. No, because I pack. Trust me. I'm not scared to use it. I, people go, oh, you better you better know how, especially men, you better know how to use it. I'm thinking, try me. Try me. I'll show you I can use it. First of all, you're going to get a power flashlight in your face, and then I'm going to pop a cap in your butt. If you're coming up in my home, my trailer, or whatever, harm my butt. But anyway, it's nothing like that over there because they have a gate that closes at night. You got you have to have a code for it. And Blakely is a very, very uh, safe place. So I don't feel uncomfortable. Uh, they have drive arounds, the, the, the grounds, people drive around. Hey, the only thing that I'm leery about is the ghost around there because it was a um, Confederate and Union wars over there. <clears throat> Blakely Historical Park. Lakely Historical Park. Look it up. Anyway, y'all, just because I went over there didn't mean I did not. I did not shop. But I want I want to ask y'all a question if y'all go back and get it. I went to uh, Salvation Army over in Daphne. And I bought uh, a couple of things there. But uh, they had, and I had the money to get it, but there was other stuff I wanted to get. Um, they had a, do you remember back in the day what the ladies would take and uh, like they'd hand take their foot and it, they'd do a little paddle and they had there's this big old big old wheel and they'd do their their make string or yarn or whatever. They had one of those there and it was authentic and they had already marked it down to fifty dollars. Well, y'all think I should go back and get it um Monday because I'm thinking about going back and getting it. My throat, something's wrong with my throat. Let me know what y'all think because I am seriously thinking about going back and getting that thing. I just love stuff like that. And that's how I get a lot of my antiques is I don't pay a lot for any of my stuff. But I did go over there and I got some uh, Ray Dunn stuff. And I wanted to show y'all a couple of my Ray Dunn cups. And I'm going to be leaning down. I'm going to be getting up because I have a haul, y'all, to show y'all. Let me get started. First, my Ray Dunn stuff. Okay, I seen this tea addict addict tea addict. Isn't that cute? Look, it's yellow. Isn't that cute? Yes, I drink some tea, a lot of tea. My husband does too. All right, I got that one. I'm gonna kind of start going really fast. <clears throat> I told y'all I was gonna be leaning down in front of y'all. Hang on. I'm so sorry, y'all. I will get them up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't mean to, but I got it it's scattered all out here. Then I found this one. My husband's name is John Wesley. I got that one for him. Of course, they don't have one that says France. If they have one that says France, I said, well, I guess I could take a permanent magic mark and put an S on it. I said, I'm not doing that. I'll try to find me one. And then it says my cup of tea. That one. I got that one. And then I got this one. I got another one that says Queen Bee on it. But I got this one too. And um, but I didn't worry about bringing that one, other one in. Here, this one's good. See, bubble. I like that. This one here was like probably $10 or something. It wasn't, might be even eight or $7.99 with a little tar. And I do use these people. I won't buy a bunch of these because of, uh, hang on, y'all. I think I got a crack in it already. I ain't worrying with it. I don't even know. If, not that I didn't crack. That's where my husband didn't wash it, or I didn't wash it. But anyway, the cup's been washed. But anyway, uh, I do use these. Look, I think I might have another little top. But because uh, if I go outside and there's 
I have these little things where it's got the beads on it. It looks like a doily, and you put it over the top because I can't. I have an issue with bugs floating around in my in hair. Oh, but anyway, I put this on because I don't want to fly down in in a gnat. I don't want no gnat on it neither. But anyway, I was over there and uh, we went to Fairhope, and there's this little section over there called uh, Fairhope, New Orleans. And all it is is a little bitty walkway with all the hooty tooty women, hooty tooty men up in there. And I told my, my husband was uncomfortable, and I said, Don't worry about it. I said, I can act like a snob, too. But there's a little Christian uh, store there that I always go into, and I bought some soaps and stuff. Um, from them and they were like six bucks a piece and I don't like them they're, made, they're uh, glycerin I didn't like them. I really like goat soap but anyway I bought two of them but I found this y'all this was just too dang cute this was look at this I don't know what this is made out it made some kind of felt like looking stuff one's named Jacob and the mama's name is Emily Emily and Jacob I wish I'd checked them out a little bit closer because eyes on the little boy ain't too, or, yeah, the little boy ain't too good. Yeah, but anyway, and then I uh, I went to the, uh, a lot of some fix shades of Goodwill, and I went to the Goodwill because back in the day, back when I had my other beagle, hang on, um, I did her little footprint, I had a little print on her foot, on her little foot. I call her little foot. And um, I had gotten, this, I thought, the same kit for my little beagle I got now, my little baby beagle. And um, it wasn't. It's like concrete or something. It's too hidden. So anyway, I found this kit, and I jumped on it. I opened it up the first. It's only $1.91. It's the exact same stuff. But look, who in the world is going to make it? I ain't, uh, uh uh So what I done is when I went to Hobby Lobby, I bought one of them little small little round things to make her look I can make two little ornaments because that's what I did with Hannah I made two little ornaments and I still got it and y'all I find myself sometimes just to look and see if I can see the little fingerprints or whatever you want to call it doll prints in it or whatever but I got that for $1.91 and that right there is probably my favorite find that right there but I have a lot of favorite find first of all I wanted to show y'all I'm sure I showed y'all these I picked these up at TJ Maxx or whatever in that 99 cents bags, you know. I told you I was going to do something with them. Well, let me show you. Like I said, I'm going to be. Y'all, I have got to get me a new. Hang on. Oh, come on. Anyway, um, let me lean over here and show y'all one of them. I was going to make some, uh, I don't, this ain't my favorite one, my other one's down there, but I made, I got to fix this in here, I made a pillow out of it, and I can put these things outside, and uh, all I do is I save old pillows, I used to go and buy, see now look at this, I got to get a stand, y'all, another stand, I hate, this thing, I got to go, I'm going to go get me one this week. But anyway, you know, the tripod, this thing, thing is so cheap, it came from Walmart, I paid like 10 bucks, you get what you pay for. This ain't nothing but been a pain in my butt. But I wanted to show y'all. I'll get around getting that way over there. But anyway, let me show y'all some more of my stuff I got. Anyway, I did get in the mail the other day. I ordered these. See, look at these. All you do is you dip them in water and you apply. Don't buy these, y'all. Don't. See, for years, well, for months, not years, but for months, I've been doing the uh, Latisse stuff. And look. Anyway, you should not have eyelashes, y'all. And I'm so proud of them. I stuffed these suckers on there. I wet them. Don't buy these, y'all. Do not buy these. I'm trying to get a refund on them. I wet them, stuck them suckers on, and look. Can you see right in here? I got a ball spot right in there. It pulled my daggum eyelashes off. My husband said, yeah, I was get I, because I, I've been, I wore these for years. And uh, not the stick on, not the wet kind, but these are new. Don't buy them dip wet, uh-uh, because you'll have that gunk, and you cannot get that gunk off. I'm telling you right now, that's what caused my eyelashes, because I kept having to mm, pull it off. Just don't buy them. 
All right, and then I was, uh, I can't remember where I was at when I got picked this up. I didn't pay all or nothing for this. This is burlap, but I'm going to do something with this. Frame it or do something with it. I th think this is cute. Y'all, I'm thinking about starting my own little business. It's not stenciling. It's not a stencil business. It's like you take a, a some kind of paint or whatever, and you lay this little sticky pad down, and you take it like a, I don't know, and you just kind of run it across. And then once I get my stuff, it's like $100. And once I get my stuff, and then I can start going online and demonstrating this stuff. And if I start selling it, see, that's when I start making my money. I saw that. And, y'all, I think I'm going to do it. Because you can do it on t shirt you can do it on anything you can think of. You can do it. It will not run. It will not run. You know, have to be careful with stenciling because, you know, it'll run underneath your stuff. Here's some stuff I got from the Goodwill. I'm just going to have to. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, okay. I'm just going to show y'all. Oh, okay. Look. Now, I got a bunch of stamps, and this was like $2. This came from the Salvation Army. Yeah, somewhere over there across that bay that's got that other stuff. That's got that little wheel I want. I'm just not I'm just not gonna go into all of it, but it's mainly a holiday stamp collection is what it is. Let's see holiday. That's a witch. No, that's a best witches. I don't do I'll be giving that in a way. No, I thought this was a holiday one, but it's not. I know there's holiday ones in here. Yeah, season greetings. Yeah, I knew there was. That's what I wanted it for. May the true spirit of Christmas fill your heart with peace and home with love. Yep. Yep, yep. That was just a flower. None of these has been used. I used them the other day. But anyway, that's a whole big old sack of them. And then I got these for $1.25, and I know these are Bakelite, a little, um, they're made at Hong Kong, and they're little uh, napkin ring holders. No, I don't do green. This is about the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life, but I've been doing the, um, I've been ordering the Dazzle Me, or Dazzle whatever, the, the um, you know, the jewels and stuff. So I'm going to paint these or do something with them. And I got these, which I'm going to be sending somebody some of these, too. I think I got some in her box. Yes, Deb, I had not got your stuff sent yet. I'm still putting stuff in there. But anyway, <clears throat> these little jello molds. I love these. I'm going to give some to Deborah. It's going to be in her box. My sister from another mister. I love my Deborah. Then I got this here, 59 cents. You know, little stuff like that for the holiday. Oh, yeah, I got me a daily devotion, which is free. Oh, this is hot in here. And some lace, which all this lace came in this one bag, and it was 50 cents. I got these for $1.91. And then I got this here for 50 cents. And it's just that, um, it's just a really nice glitter, real pretty glitter. Y'all don't look at my nails. Don't look at that. Y'all, I've been taking gelatin for a couple weeks now. And trust me, y'all, that gelatin does good. See, I'm 53 years old. Anyway. Um, sometimes I hate ordering stuff. Because I ordered some iridescent, not iridescent, multicolor, like, like rainbow looking colored um, uh, nails from Wish. That's what they sent me. I don't do purple. Okay. Well, I just let them know I didn't do it, but I had to reorder some. They're going to, re, I guess, refund these. That I don't have to send them back. Plus, I got these little tea time little finger beds, you know, and I had to file the pink pinkies down. And But anyway, these suckers was long. But anyway, I like kind of like long. I mean, you know, it's kind of little bit walk on the wild side. Let's take a little walk on the wild side. Oh, yeah. I got this new t-shirt, too. I don't even know where. I don't remember ordering this, but I guess I did. All right, y'all. And then I happened to get this new dress here. I pay nothing for it, Harley, because it was on sale. It's lined. I don't know. Let me see who it's by. 
crossing point. 100% silk. That's the, the lining's 100% silk. And I guess the outer thing's 100% poly, uh, polyester. Dry clean only. It's very long. I'm just going to just show it to y'all. That's a good church one. Good church one. I got that one that day. And then, all right, I got this dress here. And I told the girls there, I said, look, I'm looking for a top to go over this. Because I cannot wear this to church. No, ma'am, I don't care what kind of church I'm going. I don't care. I'm not wearing. I know I've got, I know I lift weights and do all that. I don't care. I'm just not going to church. With my arm's showing. Yeah, I've got some muscles. But anyway, I'm still not going to do it. I wasn't showing off y'all. I'm just showing you. I'm messing with you. But see, this is a beautiful, beautiful dress I got. So look at the bottom of it. And it's lined and all that. Well, anyway, I kept looking and I kept looking. And I promise you, it's JBS. And I promise you, they did not act like they had a slightest clue to what I was talking about. Till I showed them this. They like to fill out. They say, oh, I see what you told me. I said, yes, ma'am, that will go perfect with it to wear to church. Sure will. No, I'm not being a hypocrite being like that. No, I am not. It's just that, you know, you can't wear just whatever you want to in the house of the Lord. You respect God's house. You know, and I don't wear a daisy dukes and all that out in public. No, ma'am, I don't. I don't, I wear, I wear pants out in public, but I'm not going to wear them in church, each to their own. I don't hear your mouth. But anyway, uh, like I said, I got reach over and stuff. Oh, that's what you, oh yeah, I want to show you my new tennis shoes I got too. But y'all know these are brand new I got a while back. I've been wearing the heck out of them. Well, across the bay, I've wore these a lot. I can't really get them out much. I just got these the other day, too. I think I paid $7 for these, too. Same brand as those other ones. I, Phyllis, I guess, F-I-L-A. Uh, oh, yeah, and then, then I went to a boutique. I went to a boutique. And I, y'all can find good stuff. You just got to shop around and get your sales going. And I found this nice, and I'm going to wear a denim jacket with this. I've got quite a few different denim jackets. And this was $20. It's kind of sheer and stuff. So I got some stuff to wear up underneath it. I'm going to wear a jacket. But look at this. Is that not adorable? Brand new. I just got it. And, of course, I got to, I mean, I've got to jazz it up and stuff. But, oh, I just loved it. Loved it. Loved it when I got it. All right. Excuse me, y'all. Still going through the Goodwill stuff. Because, like I said, I think I went a couple of times for the Goodwill. This was in my horse trailer for years. And I got I got it from Hobby Lobby. And I got it out. And I'm going to bling it up and maybe just keep it here in the house. God bless your soul. This is one of the things my mama bought me before she died. I think it was in a basket or something. I think my little sister picked everything out for me. I still got that on and all. Ain't that cute? It was in my horse trailer and just they're getting some stuff on it. I said, I'm getting you, you out, girl. I found this for 99 cents. I can't remember where I was at. But this one's old here. He's old. You just don't see this one. Is it tree? It came from tree a trim. Trim a tree. Trim a tree. I hate these little things. I got to cut that off. I mean, he's not like ancient old, but he's old. Joanne stores. Let's see, look. I collect these. Told you about my antique one, didn't I? I got out that dumpster, and that sucker's old. 
He tore up. I've had this for years. Too. There was a lay and tell story. There was a lot. I got. I could them all together and show them to because I gave a bunch of them away. There was a lady at our flea, local flea market back years ago. I can't even remember. I wish I knew her name. But she made. I got to sew this. This thing's old. She made these little dolls and stuff. She had. Uh, I got baby dolls and all that. She painted them. She did all kinds of little Victorian stuff to them and and all. And I bought so many from her, but I gave a bunch of them away. And I think I'd buy a new one every week. And this is one of them. But anyway, I asked where that was, where that woman was. I'm not really sure. I think she retired, basically. Then I got this. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little something on that. I got that from the Goodwill. Then I got this. This is brand new. This is Vera Bradley, brand spanking new. I got a girlfriend. She loves to take her stuff in her um in her pocket all the time. And I'm gonna see if she wants this. This is you know, you probably paid twenty something dollars this little sucker here. I don't know what I paid for that. Then I got this. Isn't that cute? For all, just in time for Nolly. It's just got one little place on it right there. That's all. But look at the little detailing on that, y'all. It's pretty, isn't it? All right. One down and some more to go. Excuse me, y'all. Oh, yeah. Let me tell y'all a story. We were um headed out to go get something to eat one night. And of course, you know, I couldn't take my beagle. And I hate leaving her in a kennel, you know, I hated it. So my husband and I said, well, let's just try her. So we put the dog kennel in front of the uh, screen door, the, the uh, storm door. Got back. She just somehow got her little paw around there. Ripped the screen. Climbed up on the back of the couch and destroyed the, sh the uh, blinds. She chewed them up. She just ripped on them. She is, she's like a, she's, she just addicted to her mom and daddy. See, I don't, I'm retired and I don't go nowhere much anymore without her. I mean, she, I'm with her all the time and we knew it. We knew, we had a feeling which we didn't like the dead gum blinds anyway. They're almost like aluminum foil, you know. But anyway, so my husband and I went to Hobby Lobby a couple nights later after that, and I picked out this. Oh, I just love this material. So I'm going to make some really pretty curtains. Let's see if y'all can see that. Is it upside? Yes, yeah, upside down. Look how pretty that material is. Is that not beautiful? Oh. I just love that. Sometimes I wish I, li I lived on a ranch and I could do that kind of stuff. I really do. I could do it. I'd take him more. I probably, only problem issue I'd have is getting up early in the morning. Well, Tony, I got up early many a time for many, 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 many years. I'm talking wee hours in the morning to get out there and and work with my husband and stuff. Hang on just a minute, y'all. Let me get this other stuff closest to me. I think it's right. Well, no, 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 no. No. Oh, my foot ain't showing. I don't think they know it is. I think wrestling is Hobby Lobby. I think a couple of things is not, but. Yeah. Show you some other pillow too in a minute. Oh, oh. <clears throat> All right, I'm coming back, y'all. I just got, I mean, I told y'all. I mean, that's probably my little vacation is going shopping. This big and I'm gonna keep. Which I said the other thing was. 
one of my favorite, but I think this other, I don't know, I have a lot of favorites, y'all. Y'all have to excuse me. All right, I can't believe that I've not broke this here. This right here. I think this was the first thing I got when I was on my little vacation. I wouldn't call it a little, I'm pretty big, 10 days a long time. I paid $2 and something for this. And this was at the Salvation, I mean at Goodwill. $2.92. A Fair Hope, not Fair Hope, but Daphne has a big, huge, huge Goodwill over there. And see, that's the first thing I saw. $2.94. Was that $2.94? No, $2.92. Who cares? But look. Y'all, I'm scared to just take this, paint, this tape off. Because I'm scared it's going to pull my the paint off of him. He has some name. He, Hang on, let me see what he's from. They done marked over all that. I can't even see. They marked over it. Something world. It don't matter because I like it. I'm not getting rid of them. I don't get rid of none of my stuff. I will one day, I reckon. When I learn how to do I, I have to buy some I ain't ready to get rid of it. I'm like Tammy. Tammy Roberts, that's my stuff. I ain't getting rid of my stuff. Oh, Lord, here we go. Five. Well, it ain't taking. It's not taking the paint off. Dang, I was hoping there's some money in it. Ain't no dang money in it. But that's cute. I love Santa Clauses. I don't like snowmen. I don't like reindeer. I love Santa Clauses. Which I think my second choice would be reindeer. It's got a... What is that? It's not shit. I wouldn't doubt any candy or something on it. But anyway. It's got a... I don't know. I think it's just care. I think it's got character myself. It's creepy. All right, let me put you down, Big St. Nick, because you're going to have a place in our house somewhere. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, Lord, please, Nita. Let me slide him back here. Slide him back here. All right, now. Okay. Oh, here's my other pillow I made. I wanted to show y'all. I did it differently than I did them that other one, and I like this one better. See? I'm going to put these outside. Alright, I saw this for $1.99 and uh, somebody, um, I can't remember her, but anyway, she got one and I'm going to do something with this. I'm going to look up what to do with this. I don't know, for $1.99. Look at the little chain on it, y'all. The little chain is cute. All right, you know, sometimes my little doll, she gets to eat too fast. And uh, we've already bought her two bowls that kind of slows her down. And I happen to see this one for a dollar and a quarter at Salvation Army. Yeah. But that's where it's at. Anyway, I picked this one up for a dollar and a quarter. And it's made by Break Fast. And I looked these up. Y'all, these are $15. So you still got, you can get a tag on them. But they were $15. They, so I'm behind and grabbed it. They had like a life jacket for $10. No know, life preserver. But my baby don't go, we don't have a boat or nothing. We used to have a boat back in the day. My pit bull, I had pit bulls for 15 years. They were, they were so funny. The male, we had portraits and stuff made with them. I never had a portrait made with my beagle, but, well, I guess I did in a way. My husband may get them. But anyway, um, they were so beautiful. They were so sweet and pretty. But my man was solid black, and he had, like, a little bit of white on here. And I'll never forget, his eyes were red, like, a, um, all, basically almost like this. And one night, this is back when we were young, and we did a lot of partying and drinking back then, and, um, he, we had a we had a truck with a camper shell, and I don't think we had the little female back then. That was her daddy, 
And so anyway, Wesley had picked up a friend of ours. He's passed since then. Since I mean, well, he's passed. He passed probably a couple of years back. Bless his heart. He had a bad drinking problem. And uh, anyway, old Don was up in there and truck Wesley, my husband. And Puller, if you know anything about pit bulls, they are some powerful, powerful dogs. They're strong. Well, Puller, he got excited in that truck. And Wesley, he got to running. And when you think about it, he really probably was running on the side of that thing. If he got to running, almost like one of them carnival rides that would get up fast and just run. Because my little beagle, she can get to running down this hall. And she would just literally take her four feet and run against that wall. Well, that's what this pit bull was doing. And he would go boom, 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 boom in there. And then, all, and, then, and then Don looked at my husband and said, man, what the? H.E. Hockle stick me and say that. Do you have back there? And so Wes started laughing, and all of a sudden, we called him Puller, P U L L E R, because that's all they ever do is pull. He stopped. He smashed his face up against the uh, up against the glass, and his teeth were shining. Ugh. And his red eyes was looking in that back of that truck. He says, Oh my God, you got a dead gum Tasmanian devil back here. I'll never forget that. And uh, and they never wanted to hurt another dog, another human. They loved everybody. And they would tickle me sometimes, get me so tickled, laughing at them, especially that male. He was just a funny dog. He was funny. And they lived almost 15 years. And um, they probably lived longer. But, I, but me, back then, I was in my early 20s. I didn't know no better. We were trying to save up to get a house, and I had to, this was out of pure ignorance. Pure ignorance on my part. I took them off uh, heartworm pills, and that's what killed my female. And it killed her within a, I would say, a year. So, whatever you do, never take your dogs off of that. And my dogs now, my two beagles, they was never missed a day. I mean, a week or a month, whatever, what kind of heartworm pills they were on, which they were bet they're better now than they were way back in the eighties. This was back in the eighties, you know. And I didn't know no better. I was ignorant. Didn't have any lick of sense, so please don't never do that. But anyway, I'm up to twenty five minutes. All right, let me get back. I'm, I'm let's see. Okay, now we're in the hobby lobby. All right, I just picked up I picked up like I said on that little foot thing from a little beagle. To do a little poop paw print, I got that. That's plenty of size. I love picking these up, uh, these pieces of these uh, sheets of paper because there's a lot of times you I'll use them, use them for all kinds of stuff. That's what I got. I got I don't know how many page, pages, and they were fifty percent off. I probably got a couple of dollars for all these. I think I got about eight sheets, nine sheets. All right, and then uh, everything I got at Hobby. Wait a minute. Let me go ahead and finish out the Goodwill. Let me finish this now. Okay. And this comes from the Goodwill. You see that? It was $40 marked down to $20. Goodwill had it. It was $3 and some odd cents when I got it. And then it was 50% off on that. No joke. I'm not joking with you. See that? I basically should have gave it to him because I, I basically paid nothing for this. Is that not gorgeous? See? Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> I got that. And then, now that one came from over here, Mobile. Yeah, Mobile. And then, when I was over there in Daphne, that, they're good with it. This thing's heavy. Well, it's not heavy. It's just where I got to pick it up. I paid. Hey, let me get it off from right here. Six bucks. I always say six bucks for this here. All right. This came in. At, these right here are very expensive at Hobby Lobby. There's two of these came with it. Two of these. Now, I've got plans for this. It's ugly now, but i got plans for this. See that? Let's see it? It's hard for me to show it. 
But anyway, I have got big plans for this, and it's going to be gorgeous when I get through with it. Yet, six bucks for that. When I looked over there, something went in here. I just happened to notice something went right in here. I wonder what... Oh, poor cane. I don't know. It says copyright... Home Co. Made in USA. Home Co. Isn't that uh, Home Interior? Home Co. I'm not sure. It says copyright. And it's MCMLXX1V. I don't know what that is. And it's Home Co. Made in USA. 848. No, 8408. I, need, I don't see any more markings on there. Hmm. I thought home coat was the home interior. Boy, back in the day, I was a home interior, home interior woman. I still got some home interior. But anyway, I love this thing when I saw it. Mm-hmm. Be able to put it up. All right, now. Oh God, Nina. Goodness gracious, girlfriend. You know, we got that hurricane here. That, that hurricane ain't done nothing. I hope it ain't done nothing to nobody. Because I know it ain't done anything here. And you, I'm just glad they ain't not had nothing. Nobody's hurt or upset. I mean, you know. This is just some stuff that came out of my trailer, which y'all could see it because it'd be like new. All right, y'all. Here we is, my home. I mean, here's my uh, Hobby Lobby. Oh, yeah. All this is on sale. I'm going to put this in my new car. Y'all know I got a new car. I don't like my husband. And she brag. I'm not bragging. But anyway, it's a Mazda Miata. And it's the pearl color. And I want to put that in the mirror. By the mirror. Somewhere around the mirror. I guess somewhere. But isn't that pretty? I got that Christmas section. Let me hang it right here. Told y'all I had a big hole. Alright, I got like burlap wrap. Y'all know I click rolling pins. I couldn't pass that up. That was dollar twenty-four, dollar forty-nine, but look how pretty they are though. And now this was ten dollars, which I got it fifty percent off. See, okay. I think, I think, oh no, I got one more thing I gotta show y'all. It's a big too. If I didn't buy it, I could have went down there and got my little thing. I started selling take it back. I'm glad I didn't. Oh yeah, I got this for like eighty-seven cents. My name, Nita. Neat. What I'm thinking about doing, I'm going to bling it up, put it in my walk-in closet. My dressing room. Then I got some uh, stencils. It says laundry room. It says laundry services, wash, dry, fold, and repeat. Eight, that was 87 cents. And this uh, farmer's market, uh, 50 cents a pound. This was 87 cents. But, now, that's unreal. Because usually three three fifty for these. And these were marked down, so I went and got them. This is the one I've really been wanting, but ours down here, our mobile Hobby Lobby, they had one left, and I guess when they were cutting through the box, they cut it all up, but anyway, that's the one I wanted. I got that. Then I got, this was 10, and this was 10. Basically, I paid Ten dollars for both of them, because they would have been five, five, you know, fifty percent off. I guess it was fifty percent. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, let me see. I've been better off to buy this one. Another one of these, Nita. See, I let my husband. 
I'm going to stop listening to my husband. Then I found this, and it was $2.50. It's an ornament, but I'm not using it as no dang ornament. And my, my other big thing that I got is this here. I'm going to put my pumpkins in it. For, for uh, the fall, but I'm not going, I am not going to be like some of these folks. It was $20, I got $10. I'm not about to uh, start decorating for fall because I'd be sick of looking at that mess. I did that one time and I was sick of looking at it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, no, y'all, I had a really, really good time. I know, I, did I show y'all this? I think I did. But this right here, to me, reminds me of my great-grandmother. I'm sure she had one of these. This is just beautiful to me. It's got a bobo right here. I'm going to try to fix that. Let y'all remember those when y'all were kids, when you go to your grandmother's or something? It's just beautiful. When I think of Jesus, that's what I think about. And we don't have a clue to what he looks like. We have no clue whatsoever. I think he's going to be a little bit of all of us. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, I know that. Because he loves us all. But anyway, y'all, I had a really good time with my horse. He was a good boy. I just wish that they had like a... Uh, a, a round pin out there because he had to stay in his stall a lot if I wasn't riding him, you know, and he's not used to that. But, you know, there's, there's horses that are stalled 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I think that's the most cruelest thing you can do to an animal. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And, um, but at least they're not, that's to me cruel. I don't know. I just, I think it's cruel. But uh, they ought to make other arrangements for their animals. But I don't know. I don't understand why they do that. They might be show horses. I don't know. They make money off of them, probably. They don't care that about drives them the same. But anyway, y'all, I hope you like my videos. If you do, like, share, and subscribe. And to all my new subscribers, I love you and I appreciate you very, very much. And I've also got, I've also subscribed to a bunch of new people. And uh, I'm excited about that, getting to know them too. You know, it's always good to get to know people. And it's always good to get to know, to always go back to my old friends. I love my old friends. I love my old subscribers. And I just appreciate, you know, I'm just thankful who I got. If they just, they're just faithful people. And I appreciate that. And I think, if I don't grow to more than this, I'm happy as a pig in a slop, as they say down here in the south. But anyway, we're having a hurricane, but I think it's I think it's okay. And uh, but anyway, hope you like my my little well, it ain't little. It's a pretty big one. And now, if y'all think I need to go back and get that little uh, I don't know what you call that thing, a string, I mean a yarn maker thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let me know. Anyway, uh, like, share, subscribe, and peace out.